from the Ukraine, Evan Kitrov. He'll be boxing in the red corner. And in the blue corner, his opponent, 19 years old, Zoltan Harksa. Referee Andrew Caulfield from Scotland is the third man in the ring. He'll be officiating the action. And the judges counting the punches. Trueba, Bag the Navicius, Just Lorado, and Wong. This is Castle Chalice providing you commentary from ringside here in Azerbaijan. So we are getting set. Kitrav took the silver at the 2010 Ukrainian National Championships. First place at the European Cup in Kharkiv, Ukraine, also the same year. Grabbed first place earlier this year at the Ukrainian National Championships and first place at the Nurmbangabatov tournament in Almaty, Kazakhstan. So Evan Kirtrov from the Ukraine getting set to square it off against Zoltan Harksa. Young Zoltan was the bronze medalist at the 2010 Aiba Youth World Championships. He was also the gold medalist at the 2010 Hungarian National Championships. He took the bronze at the Beogradsky Pobednik tournament in Serbia in 2011, as well as the Slovakian Grand Prix where he grabbed the bronze. We now get set for action. Kitrov, Ukraine, red corner. Harksa, Hungary. Blue corner. Kitrov has Harksa in the corner. Kitrov throws a left to the body. Harksa wisely gets himself out of the corner, and now Harksa, with his hands up high, elbows in tight, throws out a jab. Hasn't quite gotten off just yet. 30 seconds into this round. Kitrov pressing the action. Kitrov throws a left to the body. Harksa. Back towards the rope, starts to circle out of harm's way once again, and now Kitrov with a left and a right to the body, and Harksa comes back with a left to the head. And Kitrov with a right hand of his own. Harksa elbows in, throws a right hand, trying to penetrate that tight guard of Kitrov. You hear the crowd is starting to roar as Kitrov lets lefts and right rips, and that's countered with a left by Harksa. Harksa's got his hands up in a nice tight defense. He's using a very educated jab and a strong right hand to follow it up at Pexo while it like a ferry pulling into a slip. And there is Kitra with a right hand of his own. And now the referee is gonna give a standing eight count as Harksa goes down from a well-placed punch. The referee is going to instruct him to wipe his gloves and Kitrov is gonna to continue to press the action and try and take advantage of the knockdown he just scored. Harksa gonna try and regain himself, and Harksa throws a left and another left, and now Harksa's back is up against the ropes, and Kitrov is gonna knock him down once again. Down goes Harksa as Kitrov scores his second knockdown of the bout, and this one may be debilitating. Harksa gets a standing eight. The referee is gonna send him to his corner, and it looks like that is it, folks. Harksa cannot continue, and Evan Kitra from Ukraine gets an impressive second round stoppage. Look at that. Just when you thought things were going okay for Zoltan Harksa from Hungary, out of nowhere comes Evan Kitra from the Ukraine and ends the day early. He's going off to London to represent his country with pride, and he's going into the quarterfinals of this world championship. And you could see the look on the face of Zoltan Harksa still writhing in pain from it looked like a left, left hand to the rib cage. You could see Harksa grimacing. He could barely even breathe. He could barely stand up. He could have a really bruised rib cage or maybe worse, it's hard to say. Levin Kaitrev, winner. RSC at 158 in the first round.
And ever the gentleman, Kitrav, goes and thanks the referee for his support. Let's take a look at that replay. There's the left hand. It was actually a delayed reaction, but it was a punch we've seen all too often in this sport. It was a left hand to the liver. They call it the liver shot. It's debilitating. It really is, folks, and you could see the effects. It didn't look like much, but boy, when it lands square on, it'll take the air out of a man. It'll send him to his knees, and that's what happened just there. Zoltan Harksa could not really regain himself after that punch, and the rest, as they say, is history.